Okay. And um, so it's Thomas <coughs> J. Sargent and Christopher A. Sims. And they've been, they are, um, they've been awarded the prize um, combined, both of them. Now, what distinguishes their work from each other? <coughs> so it's, um, the methods are slightly different, um, and they are applicable for, to slightly different aspects of economic policy. So Sims has largely focused on, on what happens to the economy uh, if unexpected short-lived events occur. So that would be, if we talk about policy, it would be like a change in the interest rate, the change in the uh, interest rate set by the central bank or the Federal Reserve, or a change in the tax rate uh, that occur uh, unexpectedly. That would be the focus of SIMS. While Sargent has focused more on, on more permanent structural changes in the economy, including in economic policy. So, so what happens if you delegate monetary policy to an independent central bank that is asked to target a particular uh, goal of inflation, for example? Yeah. Or if you introduce stringent budget rules, or for example, that says that you can't, like in Sweden, we have a target of the budget surplus of 2% per year. What happens if you change that or introduce another rule like that? So, so strict changes in those kind of structural or systematic aspects of ex economic policy, the effects of those on the economy. That's the yeah. focus of Sargent. Yeah. So they complement each other very well. Yes, both of their they findings. do. And there is a continuous discussion between them, which is kind of interesting, yeah. that uh, how, what's in, in between, what can be done with the different methods and how, in what way do they complement each yeah. other. So, yeah. so, uh, so th yeah. the discussion between the lower, they, they're work has been very complimentary and not the least the discussion between them has been very fruitful, I think. Thanks.